All right, let's get into the video. Outriders patch, free legendaries, Technomancer, and tricks of nerf. Let's go into it. Here it is. Here's the free stuff that we will be receiving. Because things have gone a bit badly during the launch, here with the, all the technical issues, anyone has who has played during the time period of launch through April 11th will be eligible for the free game package that will be included. And here's your things that you will be getting. You'll be getting the legendary weapon and a titanium and the emote frustration, the nerfs. We're actually going to go to loot. You can no longer repeat the hunt slash collector assassination quest for the legendaries. This is apparently due to the sort of bug where people can exploit for mass legendaries, but it is exceedingly annoying because it was a great reliable resource of legendaries through a, a lot of effort in the game that has a few, if any, targeted loot sources. The chem plant and the Boomtown expeditions are getting a bronze slash silver gold timers, shortened meaning it will be harder to earn higher tier rewards. Toka Beast, Split Tooth, Sand Shifter, and Cold Claw are too generous and will not drop, and will now drop at least stuffed when farm. Builds. The Trickster, the base cooldown of the Twisted Rounds skill has increased to 25 seconds. Previously 16 seconds. They think builds are too good and a permanent uptime on them is too easy to receive to achieve. And for the trickster again, the disruptive firepower, Psycon of Power. Outriders Executioner have had their powers reduced to 35%. Previously it was 50%. They think they they think skills stacked with the twisted rounds too well for too much damage. And finally, for our Technomancers, damage against poison has had its power reduced to 15%, previously to 30%, and vulnerable in now at a 15% debuff instead of 25% in a short tox spreading builds were too strong with blatant rounds. And we go to our Firemancers. Trial of Ashes has been reduced to 15% extra damage. Previously, it was 30%, same thing, I guess, with the Vaultic Rounds. And the Devastator, nothing. The class is currently being booted out of the endgame parties for not being strong enough, but no buffs have been announced, so hopefully they will do something. Well, of course, here that is the opinion. I'll talk about that in a minute. All right. That's it. But I think the ner I think the things that they're offering are fair. But the nerfs with the trickster and the Fryomancer and the Technomancer, that's just kind of stupid because this is the one thing I don't like about games that are only PvP based, is that you shouldn't have to fuck up the whole entire character's builds for the players because that just hurts the community and that just pisses off the players that have to spend hours upon hours grinding for their gear to make their classes better and to make their stuff make themselves survive a lot longer and if a lot of people know the world tier is already cancerous already and it's already hard for some players who are already at number 7 of the world tier so nerfing the technomancers and the tricksters and all the other classes is not helping the game it's gonna hurt the game and make the players a lot more pissed about it because since this is a game where we're playing against AI bots and we're playing with each other on expeditions it doesn't make sense to nerf the characters and nerf the nerf the damn abilities that's one of the biggest pet peeves I don't understand about games is that why do you have to go out the way to nerf that, especially when you're not fighting each other? I could see if this was like Destiny, we were playing co we were playing PvP together in a PvP mode. Well then yeah, but 
it's been a week in the game and the powers aren't proving an issue because we're not facing people we're facing enemy AIs so that makes no sense in my opinion I feel like I just call absolute bullshit on that because that makes no sense to do I don't know if they're going to add a PvP mode later on in this game in the future but if they are that's this is a great this is a great step in the right direction but come on the game has just come out this makes no sense putting a nerf for tricksters and not only that the nerf for the legendaries don't make sense either because it's pretty clear that this game is not that there's no reliable source it's not like division where you could have a source of loot system like they did where on some weeks when a daily reset happens you can go farm out for that loot with friends and you can go out and get that stuff it's not like they have that so you doing that is going to make the time even more worse and people are going to be playing a lot more which is good too but they're still going to have their grinds wasted because there's going to be just multiple times where they get no gear out of it and it gets frustrating so it's going to help slash hurt the community you just changing the loot system a little bit more but overall the free things including the free you know the free items with the emote and I disagree with the emote though but the free titanium and the free all around legendary item is fine I hope it's a legendary weapon they weren't really specific at that I hope it was a legendary weapon but I'm happy to see how this game is going to perform later on in its future so that's it for this video you guys i hope you guys enjoyed if let me know what you think about the about the uh the nerfs of the trickster and firemancer and the technomancer class i think it's just full bullshit but let me know do you think nerfs should be of should be available in pve when AIs are just involved in the game and not player versus player. Let me know what you think. But that's it for this video, you guys. If you enjoyed it, like, share, and subscribe, comment down below, turn on the post notification bell, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.